The National Football League is the dream of any child that plays football. But before that, everybody wants to play Division I college football for their favorite school, whether that be Ohio State, Michigan, Georgia, Alabama. It just doesn't matter. Securing a Division I scholarship and playing on Saturday afternoons on primetime television is probably one of the biggest flexes you can have as an athlete. But despite these dreams and these goals, not every child coming out of high school will be able to go Division I, especially in football. You could ball out from your freshman season to your senior season all four years and not get one Division I offer. But don't worry about that because I'm here to tell you that despite how daunting the task is, there are some schools in Division I and some of the biggest conferences in college football that will definitely give you a shot. May not be an offer right out the gate, but they will give you a chance to showcase what you can do and bring you on. In this episode, I'm going to tell you five Division I-A schools that are willing to give walk-ons a chance in this episode of the Rulers Minute. At number five, we got Vanderbilt. Listen, the SEC is one of the toughest conferences in Division I football, and a lot of schools really aren't going to give you a look if they're not interested from the jump. But Vanderbilt University has a coaching staff that will give walk-ons a fair shot, and they will take the time to mold you if they like what they see. At number four, we have Oregon State. The Pac-12 is now the Pac-2 conference now, but this university's program has a long history of bringing in walk-ons to showcase their talent, and they are not afraid to how give somebody a look if they like what they see. At number three, we've got Indiana. Listen, trying to walk on to a Big Ten program is like a single man trying to get in a swingers club. Most of the time, it doesn't happen, but luckily for you, my friend, Indiana is a program that will definitely give you a shot. And if they like what they see, they'll bring you in and offer you a scholarship. But you got to work hard for it. At number two, we've got Duke University. Not only will this team give you a shot, but they've also had walk-ons that have made the team and been key contributors on the team. So definitely, give. Du listen, do your research on Duke. They will give you an opportunity if they like what they see. And at number one, we have Kansas. Now, Kansas plays in one of the most offensive-minded conferences, which can be very challenging for walk-ons, but that doesn't mean that Kansas, I'm sorry, Kansas won't give you an opportunity to walk on to their team. There are plenty of opportunities to get on and do great things for their program, and they are open to developing walk-ons and giving them a scholarship eventually. Honorable mention schools would also include Northwestern, who... While they are in the Big Ten Conference, their main thing is academics. They compete in the Big Ten Conference, which is one of the most competitive conferences, but they have a history of welcoming walk-on players to their team. You also got to take a look at Colorado. I really believe that Prime will give you a shot if you just reach out. They've had a history of accepting walk-ons and had success stories of walk-ons earning scholarships, and they've gotten some big roles on the team. West Virginia as well. I mean, the possibilities are endless. While walking on to a Division I A school may be tough, it's not impossible. You just got to put yourself out there. If you didn't get any offers coming out of high school as a senior, don't let that deter you. I tell everybody, shoot for the moon. If you miss, you're still amongst the stars. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. My name is Rico McGee. This has been the Rulers Minute, and as always, we'll see you in a minute.